So, so the pivotal breakthrough that that's necessary, uh, that some company has to come up with to, to make life multiplanetary is a, a fully and rapidly reusable orbit class rocket. Um, this is a very difficult thing to do because we, we, we live on a planet where it, that is just barely possible. Uh, if gravity were a little lower, it would be easy. If it was a little higher, it would be impossible. Uh, so uh, even for an expendable launch vehicle, um, you know, where you don't attempt any recovery, after a lot of smart people have done their best to optimize the, the weight of the vehicle and the, the efficiency of the engines and the guidance system and everything, you, you get maybe 2 to 3 percent of your liftoff weight to, or, to orbit. But that's not a lot of room for error. So if your rocket ends up being a, just a little, little bit heavier, you get nothing to orbit. And this is why only a few countries have, have ever reached orbit. Um, now you say, okay, well, let's make it reusable, um, which means you've got to strengthen the stages. You've got to add a lot of weight, a lot of uh, thermal protection. Um, you've got to do, do a lot of things. Um, that, that add weight to, to, to that vehicle and still have a useful payload to orbit. Um, th this is, now you're saying of that meager two to three percent, or, and maybe if you're really good, get it to four, you, you've got to add all, that, all that's necessary to bring the, the, the rocket stages back to the launch pad and be able to refly them and still have useful payload to orbit. So a very difficult thing. Th this has been attempted many times in the past and, and generally what's happened is when people have concluded that success was not one of the possible outcomes, then the, the project's been abandoned. Now, we, we, we could fail. Uh, I'm not saying we, we are certain of success here, uh, but, but we're going to try to do it.